okay hello friends this is Yusuf here welcome to another interesting video in this video we are going to learn about uh, json okay so json is one of the most important uh, way of transferring data between systems in this current world okay uh, before i jump into json i would like to give an overview of how was our traditional uh, way of transferring data between system which we are still using in some cases and then how uh, we'll see how the json will differ from that okay so if you are designing an application right probably we need to send data between two systems so for that normally what we have is called something like flat file so a flat file represents like we'll be having only a single record which contains the data and we need to identify each record with its position say for example first three is for in this case a serial number and then uh, next 10 will be the name the next two will be the age and so on so the sender and the receiver should be able to agree on this format and then use it okay so if at all i have a lesser number of data uh, say for example here the name is four uh, character but still i need to maintain the space because my age will always start from this column okay uh, so the disadvantage with respect to this actually uh, if somebody else is consuming this data right they should be also uh, adhered to the same policy and it also leads to a lot of memory uh, usage or I mean storage usage because we are leaving a lot of blank space and it's not recommended obviously but still we are using it nowadays in few cases okay then there comes another formal called csv uh, so csv stands for comma separator values so in which what we are having an advantage is to have the value separated by comma so we can identify the each field with a, a comma so the comma is not necessarily to be a comma we can also have a pipe separator and then uh, and some other character uh, which should be agreed between the sender and receiver and then they will parse this data used on using that particular character and then get the details so the advantage with respect to this and the flat file is here you can see there is no empty spaces and then it looks kind of kind of cleaner okay uh, but still it's not a best approach so then there comes a concept of xml so xml stands for extensible markup language but this appears uh, into a big stuff during the early 2000 okay when there is a uh, www which is nothing but the web technology arises right so at that time there is a need to transfer data between multiple servers on the web so that time the soap service is one of the most used service and then that is underlying using underlying the concept of the xml which means it is accepting the request as a xml and then it is returning the data also as a xml so that time the xml was the most popular one but nowadays the xmls are being rapidly uh, replaced by json but if you look into the csp and the xml right the same amount of data but here it's self-explanatory right so if you take this data you'll surely know it's actually a serial number name and then age and that is actually belongs to a student and we have many student available in the xml okay it's kind of self-explanatory uh, but uh, the disadvantage is again the storage stuff because it takes a lot of space to represent uh, this amount of data okay then there comes the concept of json so json stands for uh, javascript object notation because the the structure of this json is derived from uh, a javascript object itself but if you ask me the javascript object is actually differed differing from the json syntax itself okay we'll see that uh, later so here what is the difference so here nothing but here we have a tag based uh, case is a markup based key value pair so here's a serial number which is there as a opening tag and then ending tag then we have the value but here we have a key value pair okay so i can say serial number and then one so there is no necessary of the closing tag so this actually minimizes the uh, storage constraint okay so i have just uh, given it for an explanatory purpose this much but if you just string this right it will be coming into a single line okay and then we can group all the data into a single line uh, with all the syntax in place it will be still the valid json but now uh, the purpose of this video is to learn what is json and syntax of it so let's learn this so here uh, in the sublime text i have given the um, what is the syntax as json okay which means it should help us to tell us the syntax of json fine as i said right json is a key value pair so a json should have at least one object so a object in json is nothing but a curly basis okay inside a curly basis you should have a key value pair so i'm going to say one key okay and then colon one value a value can be a number like this or a string 
okay both are acceptable uh, but if you try to have something like this it will show an error because this value uh, it is not able to identify what is the value of this value okay so if you say it's a string then it it knows that the value itself i mean value is the value but if not it thinks it's a kind of a variable but it don't know the va value of it okay and we can have a number and floating point not a issue okay and if you want to have another key right okay then we should it, it is showing an error because we need to have a comma between uh, key value pairs okay so you need to have uh, like this so this is a valid json so a yeah, object contains one or more key value pair okay fine now a, ob a key can contain objects okay which means it can take the uh, value as an object itself okay it, it is still possible okay you can put a comma here okay so here we can have uh, something like okay k3 underscore 1 okay and uh, v3 underscore 1 okay just for our presentation okay so a key can have a value that value can be a number string or even a boolean so which, when i say boolean it can be like um, k4 is true still possible okay and we can also have false still possible okay and okay so a key can have uh, a array of objects okay so here we see here you can see right this is actually a object because it's in curly brace and this is also a object because it's in a curly brace okay but if you have an array of objects say for example here we have a student as a object right student object and we have many student objects so if you have an array of object then you should uh, combine that into a array so array is nothing but a square bracket so here what i can say uh, something like this k5 it's a key and it's going to contain an array of objects so i can say like this okay it's array and inside i can have as many objects i want one uh, come on come on come on comma two comma three okay it's still a valid json okay and uh, yeah so it goes on so a simple json syntax is like this okay so it is just a object which consists of curly braces and inside it will have one or more key value pair and a key can, can, can contain a single value or a array of objects okay uh, and the main difference between the json and the javascript is here the key right it should have a double quotes okay uh, but in javascript a key may not have a double quotes on it okay only a value should be in double quotes if it is a string it can be a, if it is a number it don't need a double quote okay anyway so this is a syntax of json okay now if you see the usage of it right uh, nowadays i can say it around 60 to 70 percent of even 80 percent of xml has been replaced with json just because the browser's language right so whatever the browser we are using uh, javascript is actually a browser's language okay so if you are seeing any website at least a single line of javascript code will be available there okay since the javascript become a must language for a browser based thing uh, and it can handle this json easily now all the services web services available in the world are json based so that we call it as a rest based web service okay so which will give us a uh, i mean it will accept the data i mean request using a json format uh it will accept the data as a json format and it can return the values also in a json format so we can have many example for that and all the modern languages right like uh, javascript python ruby you can take any java uh, modern languages are having inbuilt support to handle this json uh, data type okay so they also have a uh, it's their own data type which resembles this json say for example in python we have dictionary which looks like json and we have javascript objects which is obviously looks like json and in ruby we have something like hash table which looks like json and it goes on uh, so which means uh, it is very easy for us to create it and also uh, read i mean parse it okay uh, but in xml you know right if you are uh, if you're coming from ibma background or pgle you know how hard it is to create xml using this dom parser and those stuffs okay uh, but in json it's not the case so maybe in a future video we'll see how do we create and then read json uh, using uh, python and then we'll see how to do it in rpg and then we'll also see how do we uh, consume a web service which is giving us a json response so these are my future topics and then uh, hope this video helps you and then at least uh, gives you an understanding how uh, what is json and then how what is the syntax of json uh, so on and uh, yeah that's it for this video uh, i'll see you in the next video with another concept thanks for watching bye